Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Product in Focus. So I guess the first bit I need to talk about is the um, selling ban in China uh, between large shareholders where more than 5% of company equity are banned by the Chinese government of selling any shares and that's caused a big massive rebound and additional confidence that might be short term in nature for retail investors but the Chinese indices all finished up about 5 or 6% up last uh, over, overnight. Uh, that's falling on from this 8% drop the day before with the Hong Kong Stock Exchange finishing up about 3 or 4% higher as well. Um, knock on effects on the US market, the New York Stock Exchange actually was down for about three hours yesterday on a technical glitch, the same day as United Airlines was also down on a technical glitch, and the Wall Street Journal. But it is 100% not a, a cyber attack or anything more nefarious than that, but a lot of things all happening at the same time, just as China stock markets have been getting absolutely ravaged the last couple of days. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, there's something a little bit dodgy or strange going on, but uh, the US Stock Exchange did the uh, US stock markets did not react that well uh, to obviously those halts but it's worth noting that compared to, to London where there's only the London Stock Exchange there are multiple exchanges that you can trade stocks and shares on over in the US so they are not as uh, as open as what say the UK would be so they had other exchanges that you could um, have settlement on your trades on so not such a big impact US stock market nevertheless dropped a little bit lower as well and we also had the FOMC last night uh, where they said it was data dependent as of the next interest rate hikes, but the reality is I think uh, the Fed's going to wait to see what happens with Greece and China before making any uh, specific decisions about their next rate hike. There's also big implications of rate hikes in uh, other emerging markets, specifically Brazil, that has a large amount of US do not dollar denominated debt. And obviously, if they raise interest rates, that is actually physically increasing their debt levels. So the domino effect to the world economy could actually be quite far uh, when talking about raising rates in the US. It's not just a US aspect on there. Now, the US there, it has jumped that little bit higher, but um, it feels transitory in nature. Uh, looking at the interday charts, it's struggling to push up um, past uh, this level we are just now, around about 17,657. But we'll come back to uh, the US markets later. So, looking at the UK 100, uh, again, negative day, double bottom, tweezer bottom potentially, 64.15 is the next potential support level. We've got a, a, almost a bullish engulfing pattern right now. UK 100 looks good. Financials and commodities leading the charge there that little bit higher. And that's in the back commodity prices getting a shot on the arm. The dollar came off ever so slightly overnight following that FOMC statement. Moving on to Japan to defile, you can just see this horrible candle we had yesterday. Decent bounce back today, especially as China had that big massive increase. But we're still trading below potential resistance at 20,087. Um, that's going to be adding a little bit of negative pressure should things not fall through in positive momentum tomorrow. And I wouldn't be that massively surprised if Chinese, Chinese action still stem to fail, does fail to stem the bleed. Um, because it's retail traders that are really driving a lot of the, stock, the Chinese stock market just now. It's not the big institutional guys. Obviously, it's giving them themselves a little bit of help, but I feel it's just maybe potentially just a little bit of breathing room for them. So looking at um, dollar yen, similar aspect, real horrible day yesterday, trading below one spot, uh, 121 spot 87, that's potential resistance. Trading below both moving averages. MACD is moving into negative territory. RSI and stochastic still show potential move for forward for further downwards movement, uh, with 119 be the next potential support level. Um, as future interest rate hikes in the US seem a little bit more debatable just now with everything that's happening, plus the safe haven aspect of the Japanese yen. So moving on to crude oil, West Texas, it's been getting smashed the last couple of days, but it's um, making lower legged candles on Tuesday, yesterday, and so far today, but obviously still early days. 49.37, uh, 39, sorry, is potential uh, support with 54.85 still being the potential resistance. Moving on to uh, on to gold, um, it actually spiked a little bit higher yesterday, incidentally. So t potential to the bottom right here, uh, moved higher, volatile session away from the highs, edging a little bit today. I don't really know what's kind of going on with gold. Um, dollar yen is a bit easier to understand, so if you're looking for a safe haven play, it seems to be way better than gold right now. Uh, I would have expected it to be, be shooting up. Bear in mind, obviously, they had the FOMC last night, so you've got dollar weakness. That's maybe getting a little bit of a shot in the arm, but nothing really that exciting. Uh, so dollar yen is probably more interesting for me as a, as a trader rather than um, gold. So moving on to euro dollar, uh, looks to be bouncing around, resonating around potential resistance, one spot 11. We've almost got a death cross in the moving averages. MACD's crossed the zero line. The other technicals that are not yet oversold indicating it could still be further uh, move uh, momentum to move lower. But we are looking like we're trying to re-challenge this one spot 11. 
intraday charts, the euro had been getting a decent run up against the US dollar and it's just having a little bit of a short term spike down at the moment. So do this to be one spot eleven is going to be strategic as ever. And finishing up with GBP USD, uh, it's been getting absolutely hurt, smashed the last couple of days. We're below one spot fifty four twenty four. We've tried to get above there today, pushed right back down again. One spot 51.85 is the next potential support le level. We're trading below both moving averages. The MACD is crossing the zero line. The RSI is just about to go oversold, um, but it looks to be it could be a little bit of further downwards action before we get any significant rebound. We need to get above one spot 54.24 before we can start to uh, really tackle. Uh, and move that a little bit higher. So economic data wise, you've got a UK interest rate announcement today. That's not gonna change, that's a 12. And then Friday, not a huge amount. Fast forward on to Monday. Obviously Sunday is all about the um, the Greek vote. Uh, expect volatility depending on what comes out. This is supposed to be the final, final option for Greece. Um, so just be careful with your positions. Perhaps shore things up before the weekend if you've got any doubt, especially on European indices and Euro denominated FX crosses. And as ever guys, keep your eye on the chart forum. Make it as part of your leg going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.